Echo Week viewers, wow, been a long time, like six or seven months, something like that, running my own business, so I'm really busy, but you know what? That Eclipse thing's coming up, and today I'm playing around doing a uh, pinhole camera thingy here, so I just thought I'd share it with you real quick. This is all shot on my mobile phone, so bear with me on um, maybe kind of the jungle edit and shakiness of it all, but I threw together a little pinhole camera thing here. It's on a big, long tube. The tube's about... Um, 40 inches long and on one end of it I've got a piece of just white vellum paper stuck to it and then on the other end I've got a hole and a piece of aluminum foil and that hole is pretty big actually it's about 7 16 or about 11 millimeters something like that and there's a general rule to this uh, that I found on uh, Wikipedia about um, pinhole cameras the size of the hole should be about one one hundredth or less of the total focal length. So since I've got a 40 inch long tube here, about the biggest I would want to make the hole would be about 0.4 inches, so 7 sixteenths, 11 millimeters, somewhere close to that. And um, it works pretty well. I mean, it's not, um, you know, anything that's real super fancy, but I plan on shooting this with uh, a camera too, with uh, a number, let's see, a number 10. Um, welder filter. It's a gold filtered welder glass. It's a number 10 level of shading. Um, if you go out and buy one of those, it sh you should really look at it with your eyeballs to a number 14 or greater. Um, be careful doing that. Um, you don't want to do that too long, even through a welder thing. You know, if you've got like a number 5 or something, don't do that. Don't look through it. Believe me, from welding like I have, that's, that's not strong enough for the sun, especially when it gets to that point where it's um, in full eclipse and there's the full corona and it's tempting to look at it, don't do that. Do not look. You'll hurt your eyeballs, trust me. So uh, I'm going to move over here now where we can get in the sun and see if I can show you a little picture of what I can see on the other end of this whole thing. Ugh. So I'm going to stand here in some shaded area and then I'm going to see if I can get this to line up with the sun here. It's a little tricky because I'm not looking at it. It's going to take me a second to get it at the proper uh, angle. Hang on. We're getting there. I think I got it. There we go. There it is. You can see a little projection of the sun there and it's about probably a little over a half inch in diameter, the image I'm seeing. So uh, on Monday when I look at this, it should be good enough to just you know get an idea what's going on with what stage the eclipse is at and then I can go to my camera take a few pictures and uh, on my camera of course I'm going to be looking at it through the LCD back of the camera not through the lens of the camera by any means through uh, any kind of an optical viewfinder bad news don't do that um, you're asking for trouble I mean it's even more magnification even more intense light now if it's a LCD viewfinder that's a little different but anyway so that's my uh, short little video on a pinhole camera and a tiny bit there about the physics of it and um, I'll probably get doing a little bit of video stuff again here soon uh, the business is doing well resto euro I got that channel going but uh, starting a new business you know you're so busy all the time you don't have a lot of spare time so uh, maybe I'll get back at doing a few hack week videos I know a lot of people miss them I miss them too I really do it's you know there's a lot of fun to be had out here in the workshop it's been a while since you guys have been in here um, there's the old workbench kind of kind of dormant there's some stuff going on but you know it's just quickie little projects I do once in a while I think yeah, maybe I should shoot a video of this but I gotta say, getting things done without doing the video part of it really does speed things up, and I know a lot of you can appreciate that. Uh, and I'm still getting a few donations here and there, so thanks for that. And um, I guess that's about it. Happy Eclipse viewing. Be careful with your eyes. Don't look at it with your naked eyes. It's not a good thing to do. And enjoy, and I'll see you next time.